Hello my little wheelies. In today's tutorial you will learn how to knit a baby diaper cover. It's an easy knitting pattern ideal for beginners. Quick to knit and the pattern is available in two sizes for babies from 0 to 3 months old and babies from 3 to 6 months old. You will find the reading instructions for both sizes on my website sowoolly.net. There is a link for you below this, this video on the description box. You will need 40 grams to 55 grams of cotton yarn or wool number 4 worsted or medium. I am doing this pattern using two strands of yarn held together. You can substitute the number 4 cotton or wool with one strand of yarn number five, bulky or chunky. And you will need knitting needles 6.5 millimeters or US 10.5 and also a darning needle. Please check your gauge before starting. 14 stitches and 20 rows equals 4 inches or 10 centimeters. We will start knitting the waistband. For the smallest size, we will cast on 33 stitches. And now we're going to knit nine rows in one by one rib stitch. First and every odd row, knit one, purl one, and repeat, knit one. Pour one until the end of the row, ending with knit one through the back loop only on this first row so we can avoid a huge stitch there. Second and every even row. Pour one, knit one, and repeat. Pour one. Knit one, pour one, knit one, ending with pour one. We are going to make button holes in rows fourth and nine. Third row as the first row, knit one, pour one. And repeat, knit one, purl one, ending the row with knit one. So now we're going to knit the fourth row and make the first button hole. So purl one, knit one, yarn over, and knit the two stitches together. And now keep repeating. Pour one, knit one, two last four stitches. So slip one as if to knit, pour one, pass the slip stitch over, yarn over, knit one, and pour one. So we have two button holes and now we're going to knit row five. Knit one, pour one, knit the yarn over, pour, knit, and keep repeating until the end of the row. Ending with knit one, pour one, 
Net the yarn over. Pour one. Net one. Now we have to keep knitting in one by one rib rows 6, 7, 8 and 9 and in row 9 we're going to place two more portion holes. Now we're going to knit rows 10, 11 and 12 in garter stitch. That means knit every stitch of every row. To shape our diaper cover we're going to make some decreases. So knit 3, Slip one as if to knit, knit the following one and pass the slipped stitch over. Keep knitting to last five stitches and now knit two together, knit three. So this was our first decrease row. The second row and every even row are pressed rows, so we don't have to decrease, we just knit every stitch. Repeat these last two rows seven times more for the smaller size until you have 16 rows in total. Now we're going to knit a straight section without decreases. It will be eight more rows in garter stitch. For the smaller size. Now we're going to make some increases. So first row, net three, and knit the following, fourth and back. Keep knitting to last four stitches. And repeat, knit fourth and back, knit three. Second row is again a rest row, so you just knit every stitch. And now we're going to repeat these last two rows two times more for the smaller size. After that, we have to knit 14 more rows in garter stitch. Just another straight section without decreases. Now we're going to knit eight rows in one by one rib stitch starting with purl one, knit one and repeat. Purl one, knit one, ending with knit one, purl one. That was the first row and every both row. Second row, knit one, pour one, and repeat. When you complete eight rows, in row nine we're going to bind off in pattern. So, pour one, knit one, and pass one stitch over. Pour one and pass the stitch over. Knit one and pass the stitch over. And keep doing this until you finish the row. And you are almost ready. Cut the yarn, pass the strand through the loop, weave in the ends and sew on the buttons. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Happy knitting!